backed by a former U.S. ambassador and a military major general. Does the new political player stand a chance? I-24 News correspondent Shahal Pellet takes a look. There's a new party in town, received with much love and warmth, the type many politicians would buy these days. A former minister for the Likud party, Moshe Kahlon, has returned to politics with a bang. Surrounded by representatives from most of the Israeli spectrum, his new movement, dubbed Kulanu, All of Us, aims to make a social economic agenda as its highest priority. It is a party that is very much connected to the problems that are facing the people of Israel, uh, the social problems, the economic problems, and the challenges we face in the international arena, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the peace process, our relationship with the United States and with Europe. We know that a lot of the problems are because of monopolies that we have and because of the way the government works. And Moshe Kahlon, the leader of Kulanu, he has proven in the past that he knows how to handle these uh, monopolies and he knows how to handle the government to make sure that the people at the end of the day at their home and their bank account will feel the difference. Kahlon, also known as the nicest guy in Israeli politics, has a typical Cinderella story. Raised in a family of seven children with a low socioeconomic background, he reached respectable ministerial positions. He is a man who started from a very low place and reached very high. He is a man who went against the stream. And every one of us today holds a cell phone which costs 5% of what it used to thanks to Moshe Kahlon. And when he'll be in charge of issues such as construction and the cost of living, he will operate in the same way. Praised as Minister of Communications for his 2012 cellular revolution, which drastically reduced cellular prices in the market, Kahlon gained less credit during his tenure as Minister of Welfare and Social Services. But his supporters hope that, given the power, he will be able to make a real change. I hope the party will help the Arab and Bedouin sector solve their problems. There are problems in the interior ministry, in infrastructure and in internal security. I hope that as he managed to drop the cellular prices, he will overcome other challenges. Answering to the central party's trend accusations, the new candidates believe they bring a fresh perspective to the public sphere. I think that not being a politician is a big advantage. Every person brings something, and in one or two years, when there'll be veteran parliament members and ministers, we'll all know their names and how much they succeeded. Thus far, the polls see the Kulanu party winning between 7 to 10 seats in parliament, not the promising figures the party wants. Time will tell how many people this new player will manage to sweep, or rather if and when will it eventually sink into oblivion, as Israel's political history usually predicts happened to centrist parties.